In today's gospel, our Lord Jesus Christ officially proclaims the opening of the New Testament by telling us that He is the way, the truth, and the life, that there is no other road toward salvation but through Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria! Before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the world knew nothing about the mystery of the Holy Trinity of God. Scripture offered us tiny clues, yes, like, like the three angels who appeared to Jacob, who symbolized the three persons of the Holy Trinity. But as far as we know, before Christ, no one could ever have imagined the existence of three persons in one God. It was our Lord Himself who clearly revealed this beautiful mystery of our faith. The New Testament is full of references to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And in today's Gospel, presented to us by St. John, chapter 14, verses 1 to 12, Christ gives us some very deep insights into this mystery. Today's Gospel for the fifth Sunday of Easter presents a beautiful and very profound dialogue between Jesus and his dear apostles. Unlike last Sunday's Gospel, which was a, a polemical confrontation with the Pharisees, his adversaries, here today we find our Lord Jesus Christ in a friendly conversation with his apostles. He, he wishes to prepare them for all that they will have to suffer for our Lord Jesus in the very near future. He wants to strengthen their faith and console them before the spiritual battle that would soon take place. That's why Jesus asks them to have faith in Him and promises um, that He is going to prepare a very special place for them all in His Father's house, in heaven, of course. In these opening verses, he already invites them to realize that He, the Son, is God, just like the Father. So let's listen to His words. You have faith in God. Have faith also in Me. In these words, have the same faith you have in God, have in Me, because I am God. And then our Lord goes and adds that He is living, He is leaving, sorry, to prepare a place for each and every one of them in heaven, and that He will then come down to take them. Here our Lord foretells His death and prepares them for, for, for this tragedy, but He also clearly makes them understand that heaven will only be open to mankind if He, the Son of God, opens the gates of heaven by His death and resurrection. Next, we find the Apostle St. Thomas asking our, our Lord, Master, do we not know where you are going? How can we know the way? His striking sincerity here and fearless, almost childlike confidence in our Lord is very touching. St. Thomas the Apostle doesn't, doesn't doubt Christ's words. He simply wants Jesus to speak clearly and to tell them exactly what's going to happen. His love for Jesus prevents him from considering the perspective of his death. It is true that his love was still, was still very, very human. Um, his love needed to be, to be purified, as it would soon be by his own martyrdom. But if it was not for St. Thomas's question here, we would not have received one of the greatest proclamations of the divinity of Christ from Jesus' own lips. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, says the Lord. St. Philip, no less has, as bold as St. Thomas, um, when he asks Jesus to show them the Father, and our Lord goes and replies, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still don't know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? As St. Paul says, Christ is the image of the invisible God. 
just like a son is an image of his parents. He resembles his parents. Christ is the image of the Father. He is perfectly like the Father. And St. Augustine um, gives us another an analogy. He says that when we think of something, we form an image of that something in our mind. This is like an interior word that is within us. This gives us a pale idea of the eternal begetting of the Son by the Father within the Trinity. The knowledge that the Father has of Himself begets the Son, who is the interior Word of God, the expression of all that the Father is. He is the image of the invisible God. That is why our Lord tells His Apostles that whoever has seen Him has seen the Father. Here Jesus is talking about seeing Him with the eyes of faith. To know Christ is to know the Father, and this knowledge will be complete and perfect in eternity. So here Jesus explains to his apostles that the way to sanctity on earth and eternal happiness in heaven is to know him, to love him and to serve him, because he is the only way that we should follow, that we should choose. He is the only truth that we can expect to know, and he is the life that shall that shall all possess in abundance for eternity. Let's ask Our Lady, Mary Most Holy, who is the finger that points to this way, she is the lips that proclaim this truth, and the womb that bore this life, to bring us always closer and closer to her divine Son, Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salve Maria.